toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet roll. Toilet tissue. TP. Loo roll. Loo paper. Loo tissue. Bathroom paper. Bathroom tissue. Bathroom paper. Toilet paper. Pure and long lasting. Four times purity. Excellence. Guarantee. Feather soft. Ultra. Four ply. 4D Deluxe Botanical <sighs> How exciting is toilet paper? It's not. And yet, somehow, it is quite interesting. Look at this. Gang of robbers steal 600 toilet rolls in Mong Kok. Not 600 diamonds. Not 600 gold bars. Not even 600 thousand dollar notes. Nope. 600 bog rolls. Why on earth would anybody steal 600 toilet rolls? To answer that question, we need to look at this word, value, and this word, price. The price is how much money you need to pay for something. For example, this bottle of grog costs $10. Normally, pirates, and people, try to pay the lowest price for things. So, if this shop sells grog for $10 a bottle, and this shop sells it for 11 pirates would normally buy the $10 grog. Normally, but not always. If this shop makes their grog with fresh, clean water, and this one makes it with water from the harbour, then we expect that pirates will pay the higher price. This is the meaning of value. Value is like price, but it includes all sorts of other important things as well as money. Pirates will pay $11 for this grog because it's cleaner and nicer than the $10 grog. Something can have more value for lots of reasons, not just how good it is. For example, if another pirate comes up and says, can I buy your bottle of grog for $10? He might say, no, because it was a birthday present from his dear old mother. <laughs> this $10 bottle of harbour water grog is very valuable, but only for this one pirate. Or how about this? Two shops both selling good grog, one at $10 and the other at $15. But this one is called Eye Grog. Suddenly, the pirates are waiting for hours to buy a bottle. This isn't such a silly example. People do it every year in Hong Kong. Value is a funny thing. Normally, when there are small numbers of things, they are more valuable. That's why we go to the zoo to look at tigers and not chickens. There are lots of chickens in the world and not many tigers. So tigers are more valuable. That's also why diamonds are more valuable than dog poo. Ugh! But what about toilet paper. Surely there's lots of that in the world. How could it be so valuable that a gang would steal it? When COVID-19 came to Hong Kong and we all had to start staying indoors all the time, people started to buy lots of essential items like rice, canned food, hand sanitizer, face masks, and of course, toilet paper. This is called panic buying. People worry that there is not enough of something 
and so they buy a lot more of it. Soon, supermarket shelves were empty. It seemed like there wasn't much toilet paper in the world. The supply was low, so the value was high, just like tigers and diamonds. And in this case, the price goes up and up and up. And before you know it, a big stack of toilet paper outside a supermarket becomes, well, treasure. This has happened before. In fact, one of the earliest examples is one of the silliest. In the 1630s, about 400 years ago, people started going crazy for tulips, a kind of flower. And the price of one bulb went up by 10 times. People were buying single tulips for the same money as a dude would earn in four years. There's also an episode of Ren and Stimpy where suddenly the value of hairballs increases and Ren forces Stimpy to produce more and more of them. The price of hairballs has been rising steadily and by the end of the week they are expected to be more valuable than gold! It's gross and silly, but it's based on how the world really works. The value and the price of face masks has been crazy recently too. The newspapers reported boxes of 50 masks costing $350 in April 2020. So here's a question. Do you think it's okay for shops to increase their prices during difficult times like COVID-19? Some people think the price increases are unfair because people don't have any choice. They didn't choose for the virus to come to Hong Kong and they can't choose where to buy their masks. Other people think that we should not control the prices of things and that shops should be free to charge whatever price they want. If we want to have cheap clothes and haircuts and hamburgers in the good times, then we have to accept expensive masks and toilet rolls in the bad times. What do you think about this? Talk to your grown-ups or to your friends and if you like, you can send me a message and tell me your opinion. If you found all of this interesting, you may like to study a subject called economics when you get older. It's a subject that I really love because it helps to explain all of the strange things that people do. Well, most of the strange things that people do. <laughs>